Galende. Bonkuri Village Dance Troupe representing the Pochuri tribe of Nagaland. Kitaga Cultural Club Chunlika representing the Rangma tribe of Nagaland. Sangtam Sangli Cultural Troupe representing the Sangtam tribe of Nagaland. Gokimi Cultural Society representing the Sumi tribe of Nagaland. Mining Hill Cultural Troop, Pokpur Village, representing the Tikir tribe of Nagaland. <laughs> Mimi Village Cultural Troop, representing the Yim Kyung tribe of village. Intimate Youth Cultural Club, representing the Zelang tribe of Nagaland. Garo Cultural Troop, Dubagaon Village, Dimapur, representing the Garo tribe of Nagaland. Gyan Surang Furang, Shali Cultural Troop, representing the Kachari tribe of Nagaland. <laughs> Kuki Cultural Troop, New Chalkot, representing the Kuki tribe of Nagaland. Thank you, cultural troops. We shall now invite Sri Vila Zoshe Panra, the head Gaunbura of Konama village from the Angami tribe of Naglan to invoke the traditional blessings for the day.
Tenyi hauza ginu. Na gamea ya kisarobu. Nune nuhudoe. Tenyi hau ginu. Kizumu. Na gamea ke visije. O na gamea bu. Seye ke viushadoe. Hey, the creator of heaven and earth, thank you. Let this festival be a festival of the Nagas. Let this festival be the reason for the young generations to live in peace. Let this festival be the ambassador of the Nagas to the world. Let the Nagas prosper as a nation. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very proud to have as our chief guest, Lieutenant General P.C. Nair, PVSM, AVSM, YSM, PhD, as our chief guest here this morning. And at this point of time, on behalf of the government of Nagaland, we would like to take this time to felicitate you. I request our host to kindly do the honors. Thank you. Our host this morning is the honorable speaker for Nagaland Legislative Assembly, Sri Sharingan Longkuma. Our chief guest is being felicitated with a shawl and a naga dao. Also, our chief guest is accompanied by his lady wife, and we would also like to felicitate her. I kindly request our co-host, Sri Matang Yantan, the advisor for agriculture, government of Nagaland, to do the honors. Thank you, sirs. Thank you, ma'am. At this point of time, I would like to request our chief guest to address the crowd. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Kini kya se? Apni kaha majude hornbill festival mani bolle moi bici khushi kya se? At the very outset, I would like to say that it is a matter of great honor for me to be here today amongst the great Naga people to celebrate the 24th edition of the hornbill festival. I also take this opportunity to extend my very warm greetings to you all as you commemorate the 61st Statehood Day of your state. As we come together in this vibrant gathering, I'm struck by the palpable energy enthusiasm that fills the air. Personally for me, this is the fifth Hornbill Festival that I'm attending and I'm as excited to be here as I was for the first time when I came here many years ago. The beating of drums, the resounding cheers, and the kaleidoscope of colors around us are a testament to the vitality of Nagaland's traditions. 
We, the Assam Rifles, stay committed to maintain peace and prosperity in our beloved state of Nagaland. For this, Assam Rifles has undertaken numerous projects to connect with the people on one hand and construct valuable infrastructure on the other. In the same spirit today, I am glad to announce that we had undertaken a very noble cause for the youth of the state of Nagaland. We did this to ensure a very bright future for them. In this, I must mention that this initiative has inspired by the huge success of the pilot project that we had undertaken last year. To be more specific, last year, we, the Assam Rifles, undertook a noble initiative, in fact, a project in which we selected a batch of 32 young students all across the state. We focused on the remote areas of the state and embarked upon to train and prepare them for national level competitive exams of medical and engineering. This pilot project yielded remarkable results. And I'm glad to inform you that all the 32 students who participated in this program not only cleared the competitive exam, but also did so with flying colors. Let me also take this opportunity to uh, make another announcement. We are now in talks with uh, certain people where we want to extend this facility to the other states of the Northeast as well. And we are in talks to coach about 200 old students from the entire Northeast in two batches. One batch would be stationed in Northeast, while the other batch of about 100 or so would be stationed either in Bangalore or in Pune. Once this project is finalized, we would be announcing that. We anticipate larger numbers of students participating for that project which we undertake. And we are sure that that project would perhaps have the same degree of success as the one that we undertook beginning last year. In the end, I would once again congratulate you all for the very successful conduct of this beautiful festival. I'm very grateful to the Chief Minister of Nagaland, Honorable Sri Nifurio Ji, and the Tourism Department for having bestowed upon me this very great privilege of being the chief guest and be part of these celebrations. Thank you, everyone. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir, for gracing this occasion. We thank you for the support that you have been rendering to the people of Nagaland. We also hope that this trend will continue in the future. And also, you are always welcome here at the Hornbill Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall now begin with the cultural performances by the cultural troops. First up for this morning, we have the Konoma Youth Organization representing the Angami tribe of Nagaland. They will be presenting a folk dance called Sovi 
के हू In olden times, everything was done manually. Stone and wooden bridges built across rivers, big and small, stone pillars erected in memory of great warriors, and other works. All these works culminate in a feast celebrated with meat and rice brews. The male members of all ages perform this folk dance. They go around a circle, raising their right hand halfway and make a small leap jump which the whole procession continues.
After observing the procession, the leader gives the signal to end the leap jump. This activity ends with a big illusion by the group in unison. 
This folk dance is a celebration of hard work by the villagers, which culminates with a feast. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Konoma Youth Organization representing the Angami tribe. Performing for you next, we have the Pilashi Cultural Troupe from Tunsang Village representing the Chang tribe of Nagaland. This morning, the Chang tribe of Nagaland will be performing for you a folk song. This is the piece treaty song called Chishok Lamshok.
In the early days, when the enemy villagers settled for the peace treaty, the warring villagers would come to an under understanding and invite each other to their village. A mithun or a buffalo is usually slaughtered for this peace treaty. They would sing this song called Chishok Lamshok and dine and wine together. O Sambi He, O Sambo Ho. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Pilashi cultural troupe representing the Chang tribe of Naglin. Ladies and gentlemen, next up we have the Garo Cultural Troupe Dubagaud Village Dimapur, representing the Garo, cult Garo tribe of Nagaland. They will be demonstrating a traditional game called the Jaktong Sika. Jaktong Sika is a traditional game played since time immemorial. In this game, the players face each other, joining the palms together. The players try to push each other out of this circle with all their might. And the one who is able to do so is declared the winner.
This game is a trial of strength between two men. This traditional game is a demonstration of strength and vigor of a person. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Garo Cultural Troop representing the Garo tribe of Nagaland. Following the Garos of Nagaland, we have Cultural Club Molong Kimong representing the Ao tribe of Nagaland. Kimong village, an ancient and cherished tradition comes alive through the rhythmic movements of Yimdong Se Tsang, an indigenous folk dance. This indigenous folk dance is of immense historical and cultural significance for 
the village. This dance is a celebration of the heritage and spirituality and takes center stage during important festivals of the village. of this dance lay in its expansive performance, an exuberant journey from one end of the village to the other. The dancers gracefully traverse the village with their intricate movements. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Yim Tung Se Tung Sang, a traditional dance being performed for you by the cultural club Molung Kimong, representing the Ao tribe of Nagaland. We will now witness the traditional method of making fire. Occupying the main stage now, we have the Mining Hill Cultural Troop, Pokhur Village, representing the Tikir tribe of Naglan. This is a demonstration of the traditional fire making. This, in the local dialect, is known as milak. In the ancient times, various items were used to make fire.
wood shavings or fibers would be used After placing the fiber and the wood shavings, the person would pull a cord made out of bamboo usually. The friction would then ignite and produce fire. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Tekir tribe of Nagaland with the demonstration called Milak, the traditional method of making fire. Ladies and gentlemen, next up we have the Javame village cultural troupe representing the Chakasang tribe of Nagaland. We will witness a war dance called Riddle. It was believed that there was once peace and harmony among the people in the beginning. However, the tradition of head hunting began with the formation of villages and the greed for more land and property. The quest for more property brought the different villages into conflict with each other. When a conflict arose between two big villages, all the menfolk of the concerned village went to war with the conflicting village. Let's <laughs> go. 
as the conflict arises between the two villages, the warriors are dressed with armor. For self protection. Helmet, locally known as Trapiva, is made of a variety of bamboo. The warriors also carry machete and spear as their weapons. The warriors wear a black wrap around, known as Timuni, that is fully weaved with black wool. The warriors wrap a shawl called Lusa around their upper body in the form of a carry bag called Potul Sapu that is made of natal plants to carry the head of the enemies in it. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Java May Cultural Troop representing the Chakasang tribe of Nagaland. Long Lam is the most popular dance of the cookies. This dance signifies the apex of the social institution of every cookie village in the past. It also occupies a very unique place in all the social and cultural activities of the village. This social institution is led by a dynamic leader called Lom Upa, 
or the long elder. He is also assisted by other members of the village. Lom Lam signifies the existence of a well-knit and established social unit in the past. It also reflects the challenges and sacrifices that are made for the upliftment of a society. Ladies and gentlemen, performing for you now, we have the Cookie Cultural Troupe from New Child Court representing the cookies of Naglin. This is the Lom Lam Dance. This dance is accompanied by a varied number of songs. Witness, the male dancers would sway his dao above his head and exchange places. This reveals the responsibility of men to safeguard the women and the children and in general the weaker section. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the long lamb dance being performed for you by the Cookie Cultural Troupe from New Chalcot Village. Ladies and gentlemen, entering the arena is the Yadu Pongven Cultural Troupe representing the Konyak Cultural Troupe of Nagaland. They will be performing a harvest dance called Shafat Shon.
is a form of dance and song associated with harvesting of rice. This song and dance is an act performed during segregation of grains from chaps. a jump on the harvest row to segregate the grains from the shaft, also known as the threshing of paddy. competitive in nature to boost the moral of man as this action requires lots of energy. Thank <laughs> you. 
This harvest dance is performed during Konyak Lao Ong Mo festival of the Konyak tribe. With your day's work, they return home with your harvested grain. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Yanu Pongvan cultural troupe representing the Konyak tribe of Nagaland. Our last performance this morning are the Sanglao Cultural Club from Noklak representing the Kyamnungan tribe of Naglan. Today, Today, the Kemnuan tribe of Naglan will be demonstrating a ceremony. In the, the ancient, ancient days, head hunting was very prevalent. Hunting expedition. The warriors would carry the severed heads, the hands, and also the feet.
on returning to their village, the warriors would make loud cries so as to alert the villagers. This signals that they are returning successfully from the war. They would slowly march towards the place where they keep the heads of the enemies. The first kill carries the head, whereas the others who assisted will carry the other parts of the body, including the hands and the feet. A designated place is made to hang the head of the enemies. The warriors are preparing the place and a ritual will be carried out after this. is a depiction of the early headhunting days of the Kemnungan tribe of Naglan.
This is the e -Yo, a demonstration of a successful headhunting expedition and the various ceremonies surrounding this. The final rituals are being performed. The final rituals, rituals have, have been, been performed. performed. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Sanglao Cultural Club from Noklak representing the Kemnungan tribe of Naglan with their performance of the EO, a demonstration of a successful headhunting expedition and the ceremonies associated with it. And with that, we have come to the end of the morning session of the cultural program themed Cultural Connect, brought to you by the Department of Art and Culture, Government of Nagaland. Cultural troops, cultural troops, Sobmano Halak Rule Janai Diyase.